Oh, looks like our viewers are here. Welcome to Decide Thought. I'm your host today, John Hemeyer. Today's subject is one we'll be looking at many times throughout our series. Unfortunately, the Decide crew has decided that only the ones who do the research can be host to certain subjects. So, here we will be talking about some of the more basics of the speed of light, what is measured as, why it has that measurement, how it was measured, and a side theory that means to alien contact, of all things. So, first of all, we have to understand that the speed of light is not the same as a light year. A light year is specifically the measured distance light can travel in one year's time within the vacuum of space. The distance is currently precisely measured as being 5,878,625,370,000 miles. The speed of light, however, is measured in meters per second, or more precisely, as being exactly 299,792,458 meters per second. According to Wikipedia, a book called The Road to Reality, A Complete Guide to the Laws of the Universe, written by Roger Penrose, states it is exact because, by international agreement, a meter is defined as the length of the path traveled by light in a vacuum during a time interval of 1 over 299,792,458 of a second. We'll get into that portion later. So that explains the what and the why. The how is an interesting story, though. In 1879, Albert Mickelson and Edward Morley, I hope I'm pronouncing those correctly, conducted an experiment in an attempt to prove the existence of ether by way of observing the changes in the speed of light as the Earth changed its direction of rotation in reference to the sun over the course of a year. Basically, the test was something like this. Earth at point A, the sun, then Earth at point B. While at point A, they tested the speed of light as Earth rotated toward the Sun. At point B, they did the same test as Earth rotated away from the Sun. As they knew the speed the Earth was traveling around the Sun, and the speed at which the Earth was rotating, they had an expected difference in the measurement of the speed of light, but they did not find this difference. Due to these findings and confirmations later on, this is how light is believed to be constant in a specific medium. Nowadays, we use the two-way speed of light measurement method. In simple terms, the atomic clock starts sending out light to reflect off a mirror and return to a detector. When the light hits the detector, the atomic clock stops. Distance is known, and time is recorded. Bring distance over time up to a full second, and you get meters per second, thus the speed of light. Now, I know that D-Man has some specific complaints about this, which he'll get into in his own episode next season. I'll leave that portion up to him, so stay tuned. As for now, though, there is something I can talk about, namely, why such an unusual value for the speed of light? Wouldn't it make more sense to declare the speed of light as exactly 300 million meters per second? Or better yet, why not just make it 100 million meters per second? This brings us to our Decide theory, and what we here at Decide will follow. Our theory concerns, why haven't we been contacted by aliens? Well, Fermi's Paradox and the Great Filter, see our next episode, will play a part in this, what if we haven't been contacted because we aren't using a universal standard? The speed of light is a constant, so it will be the logical source for a universal standard of measurement, and thus give us a universal constant to begin communications with an advanced species on. So how will we make this work? First off, let's make the speed of light a unit. We here decided to have named this unit a room set. A lumsec is precisely 100 million lumeters per second. What is a lumeter? A lumeter equals 1 meter times 299,792,458 divided by 100 million, or 2.9979245 meters. 
which amounts to 118.0285905070058 inches. A lumen will be 1 one hundredth of a lumeter and thus equal 1.1802, etc., etc., inches. Now that we have a measurement translation for inches and meters, we can translate current measurements into the Loomis measurement system. For instance, I am 6 feet 2 inches tall, a total of 74 inches. In the Loomis system, I am therefore 62.69 lumen, a little over 62 and a half tall. For another example, a mile is 1,609.34 meters. So in millimeters, a mile will be 536.818 millimeters long. Shown is a list of simple translations from metric and U.S. standard to our version of a luminous measurement system. By using a measurement standard of a universal constant, such as the speed of light, any species advanced enough to know the universal constant of the speed of light will be able to easily understand this measuring system. This will also tell them that we know and understand that the speed of light is a universal constant, thus making it more likely an advanced civilization will be willing to communicate with us. Unfortunately, countries still argue about which measurement system to use, metric versus U.S. standard, etc. So, try and get everybody to agree to use a universal measurement system, such as our proposed Luma system. It's unlikely to happen. At least, it is unlikely unless the common people begin to use it more often. But whether or not you choose to use this system is up for you to decide.